Hello and welcome to my new tutorial. I am Art Invader, a digital artist from Berlin. You might already know me from my Instagram or TikTok. There I regularly post short tutorials and animations of my art. If you are interested, feel free to check it out and leave some likes or a follow. That would help me a lot so that I can continue to create cool tutorials for you. I link you to my profiles in the caption. Today I'll show you how to create this cool tennis ball and barbed wire cover art animation. The bonus parts for Adobe After Effects will be discontinued. If you are still interested, you can find the files on my Patreon. Let's go Art Invaders, first we delete the camera, the cube and the light with the X button. We start with the tennis ball. To do this, we first go to add in the bar at the top, then mesh and select UV sphere. Now we switch to the edit mode so that we can edit the sphere. Select half of the segments of the sphere. To be able to have the sphere properly, use the turnstile to see all sides. To do this, select the area selection at the top. If you hold down the shift key, you can add more areas to your selection. Then press the P key and press selection. Now we have made a separate object out of both parts. Now go to the object properties and rotate one half by 90 degrees in the X axis. Now we go back to the object mode. There we select both spheres and press the right mouse button and select join. Now we go back to the edit mode. Press shift and alt at the same time and select the typical tennis ball pattern like I did. Now press alt and E key and select faces along normals. Now you can move the part inside the ball. At the inner face of the ball there are unnecessary areas. Delete them with the X key. Now select the edges of the tennis ball. To do this, go back to the line selection and hold down the shift and alt keys again. Then press bevel on the left side to add more segments. At the bottom left of the window I select 0.017 for width and 36 for segment. In a tennis ball two colors are used in the texture. To separate these parts from each other we first go to the material properties. Note that no segments should be selected in the ball. Create a new material. Then select only the pattern of the tennis ball. To do this, go to the surface selection at the top and click on all the surfaces individually. Hold down the shift key. Then create a second material and press assign. Now you can edit both materials differently later. I rename the textures to inside and outside. Then go to the vertex group properties and press plus. Then press assign and name the group no hair. Then press command and I to reverse the selection. Now press D select again. Create another vertex group and press assign. Name it hair. This vertex group is important because it determines where hair should be on the object and where not. But first we create the barbed wire, to be precise the spikes. Make the tennis ball invisible with the following clicks and switch to the object mode. First we go to add at the top, then curve and add a curve spirals Archimedean. If you don't have this option you have to do the following. Go to edit and then to preferences. Then look for add curve, extra objects and put a check mark there. Then go to the settings at the bottom left. Select 5 for turns and 0.5 for height. Now go to the object data properties on the right side and go to the menu item geometry and then bevel. For depth select 0.255 meters. Now go into edit mode and drag the endpoints outwards. Use the axis cross at the top right and press Z key. Here you can freely select how long you want the bevel to be. Here you can choose how long you want the spikes to be. Now press Alt and S key to scale the tip. Now goes back into object mode and makes the spikes invisible. Now we create the wire. To do this, go to add, then curve and insert a circle spline. Now duplicate the circle and position them diagonally next to each other. Then press Command and J to connect the two circles. Now go to modifier properties and select screw. Select 15 meters for screw and Z for axis. 
Now press Command and A key and select all transforms. Go to transform on the right side and rotate the wire 90 degrees in the Y axis. Now make the spikes visible again and scale and rotate them also on the Y axis by 90 degrees and scale them by 2.1 in all axes. Then move the spikes to the center of the wire. Select both objects and press with the right mouse button and select Shade Smooth. Now select the spikes and the wire and press the right mouse button and go to Convert to and then Mesh. Now select both and press Command and J to connect both to one object. Now we center the axis cross at the beginning of the object. To do this, press the right mouse button, select Set Origin and then Origin to 3D Cursor. Now go to the Modifier Properties and select A. Set Factor Z to 1 and X and Y to 0. Also set a check mark at Merge. You can increase the number in count. I take 17. To make the spikes point in different directions, we add a simple deform modifier. There we select twist and choose 270 degrees for angle and Z for axis. Now go to add, curve and then circle. Now select curve for the modifier. At curve object select the circle spline. Now go to transform on the right side and scale the barbed wire to 0.052 in all axes. That's it. Now you can make the tennis ball visible again. Scale it in all axes to 0.92. Also press the right mouse button and select Shade Smooth. At the end we add a few spikes. Go up to Add, Mesh and then Cone. For this we choose a radius of 0.05 and depth 1. Now select the sphere and press on the magnet at the top. There you select faces, underneath center and set a check mark at a line rotation target. Now select the cone press with the right mouse button on it and go to set origin to center of mass. Now you can duplicate the cone and it will automatically be positioned on the sphere. When you are happy with the result select all the cones and press Command and J to join them together. You can adjust the size under transform. I choose 0.85 for scale in each axis. Then press the right mouse button and go to set origin to 3D cursor. This is important later for the animation. Now let's move on to the materials and textures. From here on you can customize your artwork by using other environment textures, materials, bump maps and colors or by adding additional objects. You can also leave it the way I do it. Feel free to send me your questions or final results on Instagram. I will answer them all as soon as possible or repost your artwork as a thank you. Dash well let's move on. First we split the view in two so we can see our 3D object and create a material at the same time. To do this go to the side until A plus appears and drag the window to the side. Then we change the viewport shading, 4, in the upper right corner of the 3D view. We change the second view by pressing the icon. There we select shader editor. Select cone and create a new material by pressing the plus button. Name the material metal. Set metallic to 1 and roughness to 0, 0,2. Now select the barbed wire and add the material there as well. Now select the tennis ball and go to the material properties. Color the material outside in the typical neon yellow tennis ball color. For metallic I take 1 and for roughness 0.5. Now we change to the second part of the material. There we leave the color white. We set metallic to 1 and roughness to 0.65. Then switch to the world mode. Search for environment texture and insert a picture of your choice there. 
I choose a HDRI map. It may be that the map is rotated incorrectly. To fix this, search for mapping and geometry. Under mapping you can rotate the background so that it fits. You can adjust the brightness under background under strength. In my case I use two. Now we add the hair on the tennis ball. Select the tennis ball and go to the option particle system. There you press on the plus to create a new particle system. Then press on hair and set a check mark at advanced. At hair length you choose 0.1 meters, at segments 24 and the number you increase to 500,000. Here I would advise you to save the file. It is possible that there is too much hair for your computer. Then go to the physics category. There you set brownian to 0.2. Now go to the timing category and set n to 0.2. Then go to the category vertex group. For density and length and clump and kink add the vertex group hair that you created before. Finally, go to force weight and under zero for gravity. At Patreon you can find the complete project file with all textures I used for the project. There you can also support me financially as an artist. All the money helps me spend more time on creating tutorials and cool things for you. You have the choice between three packages. For 5 euro per month you have access to the project files. For 8 euro per month you get the benefits of the first package plus exclusive access to my Adobe After Effects files. There I edit all animations additionally. For 12 euro per month you get the advantages of the other packages plus earlier access to my tutorials. I hope there is something for you and thanks for the support Art Invaders. We now come to the animation. To do this, we shorten the animation to 7 seconds, which corresponds to 210 frames. First we animate the barbed wire. For this we go to the modifier properties and go to array. Now we put the slider at the beginning of the animation. Then we go to factor Z and set it to 0 and set a keyframe with the right mouse button. Then we move the slider to frame 180 of the animation. Then we go to factor Z and set it to 1 and set another keyframe. Now select all parts of the barbed wire and press Command and A key. There you select all transforms. At the bottom right you now remove position and rotation. Now you can duplicate the barbed wire and reposition it. Finally we animate the spikes. Put the slider at the beginning of the animation. Then we go to transform on the side. At scale we press the right mouse button and select insert keyframe. There we enter 0 for all values. Then we move the slider to frame 180 of the animation. After that we enter 0.85 for all values at scale. That's it. Finally we put in a camera. I don't know why. But only the hair of the tennis ball is shown during rendering. To fix this, duplicate the tennis ball and remove the particle system and the hair from the copied version. Finally select cycles under renderer. For max samples 40 are enough. Under film you can set a check mark at transparency so that the background is removed. Press Command plus F12 to render the animation. That's it, well done Art Invaders. If you liked the video, please leave a like. Do you have any theme suggestions or want to know how other artists created their animation? Feel free to send me a message with a theme or example pictures on Instagram or TikTok. I will make a tutorial about it. Do you have any questions or do you want to tell me something? Write it in the comments. I am glad about every support. Thank you. To make sure you don't miss a new tutorial from me, please subscribe to the channel. I try to upload one to two tutorials per week. See you in the next tutorial.